let's go ahead and get started. Obviously you've seen her with her makeup on, so what I am going to do is just use a little bit of nail polish remover and a paper towel and take off the makeup and the fingernail polish and show you from scratch how to do this. Go. Get the blushing on her cheeks and her nose and her chin off. Forehead. I had, just have a uh, half damp washcloth, half dry, so I can wipe down her face. And I'm not going to undo her fingernails. Um, they've already been done. I figure you can get the idea from the face, and that's the hardest part anyway. The nice part about this is if you don't like what you did, you can always restart over. Okay, now that she's all dry, we're going to be using, uh, we're going to need a small container like such. A little bit of water. I'm just going to set this aside. There we go. And I'm going to put a scrunchie in her hair just so it stays out of the way. There we go. Okay. You'll need a extremely small paintbrush, so very tiny there, extremely tiny, and thin point on it. The paint I'm going to be using, um, I have uh, pearlescent liquid acrylic paint, and this is called Silver Pearl. I just shake it up like so. Just gonna put this around her her hair so I don't mess up her hair. And the other color is called Processed Magenta, and this is a acrylic artist paint. So that's the other one. And we will start off by only doing one. I got a drop. Whoa. Okay, that was three drops, but I did two last time of the process magenta. And then after you've shaken your pearl essence up, what I did is I just took what was out of the cap and dipped it in twice, which I think I'm going to do three times now since I put three drops of the, um, try and get a bigger wad on there three drops of the processed magenta and you just mix your colors however you want. They come in purple, they have gold, they have this metallic blue. I use the pearl essence because it gives this really pretty like shiny glittery look. Okay after that's done rinse your brush off and Dip your brush into the into the paint and we're going to start on her lips. Her lips might take five or six applications, but we're going to go ahead and start on her lips and just on the pink part, not on her teeth or on the inside. If you feel like you have too much on your brush, just wipe it on your paper towel and it will soak up some of that excess paint. And the nice part about this is, if you don't like it, you can take it off. If you want to switch the colors on her fingernails or toenails, you can do that as well. So 
are basically just applying that to the top lip, like so. Just make sure you're following that lip line. This color is actually coming out pretty good. I might not have to do as many applications on this one just simply because uh, it's not as light as the last color I did. And if for some reason you get a little something on her, a little something on the side of her, just take that nail polish remover cloth and just dampen it. And that will take it right off. Now she still has some glittery stuff on her face. go and then just always wipe it down with the with the damn cloth and dry being careful not to smudge the lipstick you just put on okay and what I'll do is I'll zoom in a little tighter here so that you can see a little closer what I'm doing brush in, rub it on your paper towel so you get off that excess, and I'm just going to go over her lips one more time I believe is good, going to be good enough. And this dries nice and smooth, there's no need to put any, any extra paint or I've seen another YouTube video where they actually do um, like this longer process with coloring and then putting this clear coat on and it does come out very pretty but for all intensive purposes I don't need to do that much work because I know she'll want to change the fingernails or the toenails or change the lip color. So that is basically how you do the lips. And this dries pretty darn quick. So if you don't work um, quickly, it, uh, it will dry quick on you. Just do one good swipe over and get the inside top of the lip. Try not to get her teeth. And if it's still wet, you can take your finger and wipe it off just like you do with your regular nail polish. Okay, so that is looking good to me. Now we're going to do her cheeks. And for the cheeks, what I do is I simply use my hand, put the paint on my hand, put it on her cheek, and this is a very fast process. Take my thumb, spread it around, and then I take a Clorox bleach wipe, get the edges so it doesn't look like she has a line on her face, a regular towel, and then I just do that a couple of times. 
and wherever her blush line is is wherever you want to put that. Just smudge it around and do it very quickly otherwise you will end up with a mess. Okay, and you could see the difference between one cheek and the other. This one has just a little bit more pink. I don't plan on adding a lot just because this is for a little girl. She's not meant to look like a, a grown-up. I just take my towel and wipe. And that's looking pretty good and she has this beautiful shimmery look. We're going to do the other side real quick. That one on pretty thick. Smudge it around. And like I said, if you get a little bit where it's not supposed to be, just use that nail polish remover cloth and then get it right off of there. This has that sparkle in it, so this is the Clorox bleach wipe. And if you look, she has like a line right there. So I'm just going to, I don't know how well that's showing up on camera, but I'm just going to blend that in a little better. And with practice, it gets easier, like anything. Okay, so she looks like she has some good, good pinking to her. She has good color on her cheeks. Now, the next part is just a little bit on her nose and her chin. And you have to rub those really quickly. Otherwise, they just don't look good. And I always do like a little on the forehead, just a very, very light amount. And then for this one, use your Clorox bleach wipe, blend it, use your towel, rub it, and it will come out just a little. Just very little. Okay, and that's pretty much the process for this. So she has a, a little bit of shine to her and a little bit of color. There we go. And once that dries, I'm just going to take my wet cloth. Go over it, wet cloth, go over it, and it will, will not take off the color. It will leave the color on. And go over it with a dry cloth. And I can kind of see if there's any areas that are too much. Just take a Clorox bleach wipe and get those areas and wipe it off. Or blend it. If you don't like it at all, just take your nail polish remover and remove it. Okay, there we go. A little bit of a less shine and a little bit more blush there. And then we're going to do the same thing right here where she's really, really shiny and I'm seeing right by her eye right here. So we're going to do those two areas as well. She's 
still has a little bit of a shine, but there we go. Her blushing hasn't gone away. She still has her facial blush blushing, but not that line of shine coming down. And I'll add just a tiny bit more right on the, the apples of her cheeks. That's what these, these rounded areas are called, apples. The apple of the cheek. There we go. Rub it in really good. I'm just going to try and get some of this glitter off of the bottom of her lip. And this is your basic Springfield doll, and she's absolutely gorgeous. Next, I am going to do her eyelids. This one to get off, you're going to have to use a Q tip to get in there. Okay, and that's pretty much the process, and the more layers you put on, the darker it will get. I'm just going to smooth out some of these little ones on her lips, and we will be good. Okay, stick your brush in water, clean it, take your uh, Clorox bleach wipe, and just clean off your hand and then a little water and soap and you can wash your hands later and there you go your doll now has a beautiful makeover if you happen to get any paint on her um, on her body by accident same concept just a little Clorox bleach wipe or alcohol, alcohol nail polish remover and it will come right off Okay, if your doll has a lot of marks on her, like stains and such, the other thing that you can do is they do have flush colored paints, and um, you, you'll have to mix them and come up with an exact match for her skin or, or close to it, but if you end up with marks on your doll that you've tried numerous times to wrap her, um, Put the put the zit cream, the oxy or whatever has the benzoyl peroxide ten percent in it, and you've wrapped her in saran wrap. You've left her in the sun, and these marks just won't go away. You can always do some paint matching with some flush colored paint and just other colors to try and match that. And if you take her to the art store, I know that um, there's a couple of them that will you know try and help you figure out what colors will will match her skin but it's it's more of a trial and error thing so we are done and I will um, I will hopefully see you here again for my other videos I I have done rewigging on the dolls um, rerooting of the hair obviously the face paint piercing of the ears and next video will be I'm going to try and uh, put some eyelashes on her to make her eyelashes a little thicker and a little better. So I hope you had fun and meet me back here again.